Hi, I'm Miles Prater, and welcome to video number three on the Hero's Journey. I'm here in uh, southern Austria, the Arental and Tyrol area, and northern Italy, what, going for eight days. And um, it's such an adventure. It's just really inspired me to kind of talk about this whole notion of the Hero's Journey. And I'm going to talk more about pain versus suffering. There's a, an amazing psychologist from Vienna, Viktor Frankl, who uh, was sadly uh, put into a concentration camp. Uh, he survived, and he really felt the secret to his survival and that of other people was all down to having a sense of purpose and meaning. Now, of course, a lot of luck <laughs> gets in the way and helps things along as well. But he said that if you kind of take away the luck, what distinguished the people who didn't make it and the people who did was their, their, sense, their, their ability to really ignore the pain or have the pain hold the pain because they had a greater sense of meaning and purpose for their lives. They were dreaming of what they were going to be doing once they got out of that camp and how they were going to make a difference in the world. So, um, you know, and I think that sounds like a very grand thing when you maybe compare it to, oh, my situation. Well, you know, uh, I'm really upset because my job's not going very well. My wife's mad at me. My kids hate me. And uh, we got money problems. And, you know, my parents are really sick. And I just don't know what to do about my life, right? All the dreams I had have disappeared. And um, that could be really painful. So the real difference, uh, I think, start with at the beginning of the hero's journey, right, is to start thinking, hey, I'm, going, I'm experiencing some pain in my life right now. And there's nothing I can do about it. Pain comes. Pain, it's part of life. I can choose, however, whether I suffer. And that's Viktor Frankl's big insight, is are we going to suffer? Are we going to be victims? Are we going to blame somebody? Are we going to, you know, blame the boss because I hate my job? Are we going to blame my wife because she's angry with me? Am I going to blame the kids because they're spoiled and they want jet skis for Christmas, <laughs> you know? So it's like... Um, the suffering is our choice. That sounds really tough, you know? That sounds really tough. But when you start thinking, okay, I want to reinvent my life. I'm going to go on this hero's journey of reinvention. And I'm not going to be able to do it if I'm a suffering victim complaining about all the bad things other people are doing to me. And I know that sounds really hard and really tough. But that's the big mindset shift we've got to make to start the hero's journey. And as a matter of fact, the more you feel your suffering, you know, as I said and a couple of videos ago, we talked about comfortable misery. The more you're in that situation of comfortable misery, just stuck, not knowing where to go, what to do, that's actually the biggest sign that you need to change, that we need this mindset shift to happen. So I hope that's been helpful. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos about this idea of our hero's journey in midlife. I hope that's useful, and I look forward to talking to you again.